Man, you guys ain't gonna believe this. All day today, it was really nice, and the sun came out, started melting all the snow, but then within, I swear, 20 minutes, this started happening. Crazy. Everything's getting snow on it. It was a real nice day until this happened. Well, while it's blowing snow outside, I'm going to stay nestled and cozy in my shop here. It's not cold enough for me to start a fire, so I'm not even going to worry about that. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to start, start grinding on here, because this is where the connection is going to be for that upper f part of the frame. And so I'm going to grind those down, and then measure this all out, and set it up, and start to tack. I just got done welding uh, the front portion here on, and uh, I'm, gonna let, I'm letting it cool now. I've had a few people out there ask me um, about uh, torque converter problems that they've had and that they're having. Um, now, this is just pretty much from my experience, and their problem that they're having is when they're accelerating, they can get going, and, it, and sometimes it seems like it kicks in, it doesn't seem to kick in soon enough or it's not you know the engine is wrapped out but the thing just doesn't seem to fully engage or when they let off of the accelerator um, the this part stays engaged well a lot of times the culprit to that that I've come across is heat uh, torque converters, if you've ever looked at the, uh, the case of a torque converter when you buy it, they've got these vents that are cut into it so that way air can flow past the, the torque converter itself. When you have the driver, I should say, when you've got it all put together, I'm not going to put the other, I'm not going to put the end on it, but you have this insert right here. As you're going, and you've got your uh, bronze fitting right here. When you're going, the weights expand and they push this in. It squeezes the belt and then causes the belt to ride higher. When you decelerate, take your hand off the accelerator, the pressure of the belt moves this thing right back into place. Okay, um, sorry my batteries ran out there. So what happens is, is when you're Air, air should be flowing past this, and in the in the in the plastic contain plastic uh, covers that go over these things, you can see that they've got slots cut in them because they want air to flow through by these things because these can get hot. What can be happening is that this piece right here, because it makes contact with two things, it's making contact with the belt, which is transferring heat to it, and it's also making contact with the weights and the and that also helps create heat inside of this because the weights are going up and down slightly inside. When this thing starts to heat up, the steel will start to expand. I better move my coffee out of the way. The steel on this will start to expand and pinch this inner sleeve. So while it expands, so while you're driving, and this thing expands out, to pinch on the belt because of the weights it's getting hot and then when you go to release it it binds up it's pushing in on this sleeve you know because it, it, it teeters on this sleeve a little bit slightly and it you won't be able this is just dirty so that's why that's another reason that can cause this it won't be able to slide back into place so a lot of times the culprit is heat because this bell, this, this uh, part of the clamshell is heating up hotter and faster than the sleeve is so it's literally squeezing in on this sleeve the tolerance between these two pieces becomes less another culprit is like what I've got here and it's just icky I just got grit in there and stuff like that this that you're looking at is not the one that I did the cleaning video with. That one's on um, the reverse trike thing. So, 
when this is not engaging or it's uh, it's not disengaging, a lot of times it's because there's either grit inside of this thing or it's just getting too hot. There's not enough airflow to keep this thing cool. And that's what I've come across messing with these things. Um, another problem is is that if the torque converter, if this part port of the torque, part of the torque converter has ever been serviced, sometimes if a person isn't paying attention, they can put these weights in backwards. <laughs> And you always want to make sure that the the more angled side goes to the outside. The more flat side of them goes to the inside. So, those of you out there, if you're ever... Um, now, if your torque converter is cold when you start it up and you start driving it and there's certain issues... Well, sometimes that can be with the other part, and I'll, I'll talk about that in a different video. But in this situation, if you're driving your cart around, and let's say you start it up, and you're driving around for, let's say, five minutes. Let's say you open it up, and you drive all the way down the street. You stop, you turn around, you drive all the way back home, or back to your place, or whatever. And you're noticing that your torque converter is not releasing. It's not sliding back into place. Chances are there's just not enough airflow by this thing and it's not getting itself cooled off so that can be one that can be one issue right there most of the time it has nothing to do with the weights you know it's just the slide of this thing right here that can cause that binding to happen so it's either heat or it's just gritty and icky and dirty like this one is so, okay. <laughs> okay, so I got these bars here cut and stuck in there um, on both sides. Got it all welded up. Uh, you can see here in the plans, this bar right here, I left that out for now because I'm going to most likely, I was hoping uh, to using the odyssey steering wheel for this that george had sent me but i had cody hang on to it and that thing is just way too big for his hands so i'm thinking i'll probably use this one and i'm gonna wait on that for us for a little bit it's came off of a riding lawnmower you can see the cogs on the very end and uh i might have to shave it down a little Maybe. I'm not really too sure yet. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to now start working on uh, the spindles. Uh, they're going to go here. And, uh, let's see here. Where are they? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. Ha <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to start working on those now. All right, guys. Got these done. The brackets for the spindles. And they're going to be going right on like that. I'll be putting some caster in there. Uh, the suspension on this is going to be just like a lot like uh, some of the, like my Manco has. That type of thing. But the problem that I'm thinking I might end up having is I have these drilled at half inch, and this is how. Oh, well, God dang it! Here, just got this one. Taking that one on the floor. Okay, now these springs are rated, or actually in the in the center of them is uh, five eighths. And I've got my holes here drilled for half inch. So I'm wondering if I'm going to have... I'm thinking I'm going to have some issues with this spring vibrating around on the bolt while it's riding. So I might have to change that and make these holes 5 8 so I can have a nice snug fitting bolt in there. And the springs will go on there. And then the... Uh, the spindle, rotating part of the spindle will go there with the bolt welded on, sticking out. 
yeah, so, hmm, I think I'm probably going to have to do that, but the problem is, is I don't have a 5-8 drill bit. Yeah. Man, the heck, this camera's a little blurry. Look at this spring. Yeah, it's a little blurry. Oh, that's weird. Hmm. But, hmm. Okay. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's as far as I've got today. So, uh, tomorrow i got to go down and get some bolts that are going to fit in there long enough. Uh, I'll look around and see how much a bit will cost for 5 8 if, if it's not going to cost that much, then I'll get a 5 8 bolt or 5 8 drill bit and then drill these larger so I can put a 5 8 bolt in there because I'd much rather have these springs fitting nice and tight on there you know and snug so they're not you know rattling around and stuff when, I'm, when we're riding even though there's going to be pressure on them probably not a very good idea but we'll see so guys that's that's it and I'm going to get on out of here it's a little cold out here because of all the snow that we're getting and uh yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll talk with you guys later. Comment, subscribe, thumbs up the video. And I'd also like to welcome all the new subscribers because I've been getting a good amount of them uh, in the past uh, two weeks. Uh, so I'd like to welcome you guys to my channel. And I hope that uh, you guys stick around. And I hope you enjoy what you see. All right. Bye-bye.